Okay, in order to make your spider web, I've given you a square piece of paper. Um, go ahead and put your name on the back. I've already folded your paper um, in different sections so that you can find the center. And what you're going to do is you're going to be taking a Sharpie and you're just going to be tracing along the lines that you see. So the lines that go across, up and down, and side to side, um, you want to trace all of those lines and have them filled in. Now I'm going to let you do it just in Sharpie. Just be careful when you're doing it and go slow because if you make a little mistake, you can't fix it if you're doing it in Sharpie. So you'll take your Sharpie. Remember to be careful to Sharpie. Please do not write on the tables or your friends or their clothes and you're going to trace all of those lines. So I'm going to hold my paper still and I'm going to kind of trace down, go across first all the way down like I'm making a big X across my paper. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, just trace it the best you can. Um, then I'm going to go and get the rest of my lines, one more going across. So your paper should look like this when you're finished. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil to make our spiral in the middle because the spiral you might mess up and that way you can erase it if you do. I don't want to start right in the center, I'm going to start kind of above the center to start my circle and as I go around my circle is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it goes off of the paper. So I'm going to start right above the center and start making a circle but then I'm going to go out a little bit and stretch my circle out so that it'll go around in a big spiral and I'm leaving big sections. I don't want my lines too close together, I'll have way too many sections and then it goes off the paper. And once it goes off the paper, you can just stop right there. After you do it in pencil and you like your spiral and you don't need to erase anymore, go ahead and take your Sharpie and then you're going to trace your spiral around. Once you've traced your spiral around, if there's any pencil marks that are showing, so you can take an eraser and you can erase those pencil marks. It won't mess up the Sharpie, but it'll make your artwork look nicer and cleaner. So if you miss the pencil line, just go back and erase it when you're finished. And this is what it should look like when you're done. And we will end up painting these, some of these sections and stuff with our primary colors next week.